So apart from viewing your files in your file manager, or else viewing your disk space usage and where it's all being used up, another thing you might want to do in that file section of cPanel is create an FTP account. This is something you can see to the right of the file manager in the disk space usage button right here, and normally on the very right on most cPanel accounts, although if you have a different one, it's just that little uh, yellow sign with the up and down arrow. What you need to remember is that you don't need to create an FTP account. In fact, the details we provide you in your email when you sign up with us are actually details that will work in your FTP client. So what you'll just need to use is the server name, your username and your password, and you should be able to connect with no problems. However, if you do have problems or you want to create an extra account for someone else, for any reason, you can do so here on this screen. So once you've clicked your FTP accounts button, you'll see this screen here. Um, the very top of the screen is a, a little section that you can use to create a new FTP account. The section below that is any FTP accounts that have all been already created, so you can just check over that and make sure you're happy with them. And at the bottom, you'll see what are called special FTP accounts, one of which is the one that is created for you when you sign up with us, um, which is again just your username. In this case, it's just CP user for this video. So if you wanted to create another FTP account, you just go up to the section at the top of the screen and type in, for example, test. Um, an FTP account looks like an email address. So in this case, uh, with our test uh, website being cpaneltutorial.com, you can make an account which is test at cpaneltutorial.com. So Obviously, this would change for your site. It would be test at yourwebsite.com. Um, again, any password is acceptable here, so you don't need to use the password that you used when you um, signed up with us, or you don't need the password that we sent you in the email. You can just use any password. Um, I've used one of my own. Now, the next section um, is one that can give people some trouble, uh, so it's worth uh, spending a little time to explain what actually happens is when you create an FTP account, cPanel will create a folder for that account, and it's a folder that that account will have access to. In this case, uh, it's created a test folder because that is the name of the account. If you want to give that FTP user access to everything, you just need to get rid of that test section, and they will have access to the public HTML folder. If you want to give them access to even more, you just need to get rid of the public HTML bit, um, a little quirk with cPanel is that it won't let you just leave this blank but if you want to leave it blank effectively you just put a forward slash which is uh, Linux for the root for the beginning where everything begins and because cPanel runs on Linux that's why it probably uh, makes you use that although it can just cause confusion in my opinion beneath that you'll see a quota which is set to unlimited by default however you can change this and set a default limit on the amount of files that FTP user can, can keep in your web space. Uh, for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'll leave it as unlimited. Once you're happy with everything you've put in that add FTP account area, you just need to click create FTP account. You should hopefully get a successful little message saying the account was created and you'll be able to use this account in your FTP client. And you'll be able to connect to the server and view all your lovely website files.